In this video, I will discuss the different ways to export and share files in Mobile Sheets and provide descriptions of all the export options. To begin, select a song on the Songs tab. Tap Share. And then six options will be displayed. The first two options are used to send exported files through another application, such as an email client. The next option produces a list of song titles and then shares that list through another application on the device. The two options after that are used to save files to the device or the cloud. The final option saves the list of song titles as a text or PDF file. The first option that will be discussed is the Share as MSF option. This option will first produce an MSF file from the selected songs and then send that file through an external application. An MSF file contains all of the PDFs or other files used by the song, as well as all of the other data associated with the song, such as metadata, annotations, smart buttons, bookmarks, and link points. Using MSF files is the most efficient way to share songs with other Mobile Sheets users, but MSF files cannot be opened in other applications and are only supported by Mobile Sheets. After selecting Share as MSF, a list of supported external applications will be displayed. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will select Gmail as the application to use. After selecting an application, the File Sharing Options dialog will be displayed with different options that can be toggled on or off. The first option is Include Metadata, which determines if all of the Mobile Sheets metadata fields are included, such as artists, composers, or genres. This option also determines if link points, smart buttons, automatic scroll settings, and metronome settings are included. The next option is Include Annotations which determines if annotations should be included in the MSF file or stripped out. The third option is Include MIDI commands. This determines if any MIDI commands that have been configured in the song should be included. Lastly, the Include Audio Files option determines if the song's audio files should be included with the MSF, as these can significantly increase the size of the MSF file. Tap OK to confirm the selections, and Mobile Sheets will then package all of the data and files into an MSF file. The external application will then be opened, and as demonstrated here, the MSF file has been attached to a new email in the Gmail client. The second option that can be used is Share Files. This will first export all of the files from the selected songs into a temporary location and then these files will be sent through whatever application was chosen. To demonstrate this, I will select three songs, tap Share, Share Files, and select Gmail as the application. The file sharing options will then be displayed with a large number of settings that can be configured. The first setting is Use Song Titles as File Names. If this setting is enabled, each file that is exported will be renamed to match the title of the song that uses the file. This can be quite useful when exporting songs that all share the same PDF, as it ensures a separate PDF is generated for each song. If the setting is disabled, the original file name will be used. The Use Song Page Ordering for Shared File setting determines whether a new PDF should be generated that only includes the pages specified in the file's page order or if the entire PDF should be included. If the song is configured to only use a few pages from a large PDF, then it's usually recommended to leave the setting enabled as a small PDF with just those pages will be generated. This setting has no impact when sharing an image text, or chord profile. The Share with Cropping setting determines if each page in the generated PDF 
will have the same cropping that was used in mobile sheets. Similarly, the share with rotation setting determines whether the rotation specified in mobile sheets is applied to the generated PDF, and the share with annotation setting determines whether annotations created in mobile sheets will be embedded in the new PDF. If the objective is to share a file that looks exactly like the file appears in mobile sheets, then all of these options should be enabled. The Export iOS Compatible Annotation setting determines how annotations are embedded in the generated PDF. If this setting is enabled, instead of using the original PDF and just adding PDF annotations to its pages, an entirely new PDF is generated where each page is rendered to match exactly what is shown in mobile sheets. The downside of enabling this setting is that the annotations become part of the image of the page and cannot be edited, and the export will take considerably longer. If you experience compatibility issues where annotations are not showing up properly in another PDF application, then this setting can be enabled to ensure the PDF appears the same as what is shown in mobile sheets. The draw highlights behind content requires some additional explanation as it involves how highlight annotations appear in PDFs. In mobile sheets, if highlights are drawn behind the page, this involves blending the highlight color with the background color of the page. In a PDF, this is not possible as there is no concept of blending annotations with the background. If the draw highlights behind content option is enabled, in a similar fashion to the Export iOS Compatible Annotation setting, a new PDF will be created by rendering a new image for every page to match what is shown in mobile sheets. The difference is that only highlight annotations will be rendered into each page of the PDF, and other annotation types will be added as regular PDF annotations on top of each page. It should be mentioned that if the Export iOS Compatible Annotation setting is also enabled, then all annotations will be rendered into the page. The Join into One PDF setting determines whether all files will be combined into a single PDF, which can be quite convenient when sharing set lists. If this option is enabled, a new field will be displayed that provides a way to specify the file name that should be used for the single PDF. The last setting is Share Audio Files, which determines if audio files should also be exported and shared. Tap OK after selecting all of the desired options, and Mobile Sheets will export the files to a temporary directory and open them in the external application. In this example, we can see that Gmail has been opened and all three PDFs are attached to a new email. If the Export as MSF or Export Files options are selected, the first thing Mobile Sheets will do is display the file browser so that the destination can be selected for the generated files. This can be on the device or in the cloud. For this example, we will select a folder called Mobile Sheets on the device. After selecting the destination, the Export Files dialog will be displayed that contains the same settings as described previously with the Share as MSF and Share Files options. For this demonstration, we will use the default settings. After tapping OK, the files are exported to the selected destination and a dialog is displayed indicating whether any problems were encountered. If we open the Mobile Sheets folder in a file browser, we can see that our three PDFs were exported successfully to the folder. If the Share List of Song Titles option is selected, a list of song titles would be generated from all of the selected songs with one title per line, and that list will then be shared through another application, similar to how the Share Files option works. If the Export List of Song Titles option is selected, you will then have the choice to save the list as a text or PDF file. A text file will always be considerably smaller in size, so this is generally recommended unless a PDF is preferred.
After selecting the desired file type, you can then select the location for the generated file, and the file will be created and copied to that location. The formatting for this list of song titles will be discussed in more detail later. If one or more set lists are selected on the Recent or Set List tab, and the Share option is tapped, eight options will be displayed that are a little different from the options shown when sharing or exporting songs. The first option is Share Set List. Selecting this option will generate an MSS file containing the lists of songs from all of the selected set lists. An MSS file does not contain the files for the songs or any other information. It just contains the names of the songs that should be included in the set list. This is a convenient way to build a new set list to share with other users that have the same library on their device. When the MSS file is imported on that device, a set list will be built and matching songs from the existing library will be added to the set list. If a matching song cannot be found, a blank song will be created and added to the set list instead. When the Share Set List option is selected, Mobile Sheets will first wait for the user to select an external application to share with, then present a dialog allowing the user to enter the name for the MSS file. After the MSS file is generated, it will be sent through the external application that was chosen. The second option is Share Set List with Files. This generates an MSF file containing the information for each selected set list, along with the files and data for every song in those set lists. This allows another user to recreate one or more set lists, including all of the songs used in those set lists. After selecting an external application to share with, the Settings dialog that is displayed contains the exact same settings as when a song is shared as an MSF file, so there is no need to discuss it further. The third option is Share Files. This option exports all files from all selected set lists to a temporary directory and then sends those through an external application. This is handled in the exact same manner as the Share Files option that was previously discussed for songs, so it will also not be discussed further. The fourth option is Share List of Song Titles, which works almost identically to the option with the same name discussed earlier, but it also outputs the set list names before the titles of the songs within those set lists. The next three options after that all export the same types of files with the same options as described earlier, but the files are stored in a selected destination instead of being sent through another application. The last option generates a text or PDF file containing the full list of song titles across all selected set lists and saves that file in the selected destination. When using the feature to share or export a list of song titles, the default formatting will only include the titles of songs with no other fields. This formatting can be modified by going to Settings, Library Settings, and Generate Song List Format. The checkbox on this dialog lets you control whether set list names are included in the output. Tap the Title Format field to specify the exact format that should be used. This is a powerful and complex feature that is discussed in full detail in the Song Title Formatting tutorial video. In that video, the Song Title Formatting setting is explained, which determines how song titles appear on the library screen, whereas the Generate Song List Format setting only applies to the song titles included when using the Generate List of Song Titles feature. However, the format string works identically for each, so the tutorial video covers everything you will need to know. I will now demonstrate modifying the format string to add the Artist field to the output. First select the Generate Song List Format setting, tap the Title Format field, Tap the end of the text in the Format field to start editing it. 
and then tap the Artists button. The format will then be modified to include artists, and the example output will reflect the change. You can optionally add separators between fields, such as a comma or dash if desired. Tap OK on both dialogs to accept the changes, and then any generated list of song titles will use the specified format. The last sharing feature that should be mentioned is the option to print songs or set lists. If one or more songs or set lists is selected and the overflow menu is tapped, a print option can be seen. If this option is tapped, a dialog will be displayed with a preview of the pages to be printed, along with settings for the print job. Each page that is printed should match how the page appears in mobile sheets based on the current device orientation and window size. After selecting the destination printer and changing any necessary settings, confirm the print job and it should be sent to the connected network printer. As demonstrated in this video, there are many different options for controlling how data is exported and shared. When sharing with other mobile sheets users, an MSF file can be utilized to quickly transfer all of the song or set list data at once. When sharing with users who do not use mobile sheets, PDFs and other supported files can be quickly exported and transferred, and these files will only include modifications based on the selected settings. This provides the freedom to share songs and set lists in the way that works best for you. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in mobile sheets as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.